Hey guys, welcome to my mobile office. And thank you for watching. If this is the first time that you've watched any of my videos, welcome, I am Michelle. And today, um, I just wanted to do an updated video of what I keep in my car. And actually, now that there is an update to a previous video that I did, I wanna show you how I power my, um, my printer. Because before, I was not able to power my printer in the car. I could definitely power my scanner, but not my printer. So let me introduce you to my booze, okay? Um, this is my scanner. This is the Epson ES580W. It is, it holds up to 100 sheets of paper at a time. Um, it actually, of course, has, but you can't see that much, but um, it actually has a feature that will hold the actual, the paper. Um, this is my, my boo thing. I know I've expressed that to you on a previous email um, or a previous video, I'm sorry. But this is my scanner. Like I said, I can scan, I can put up to 100 pieces of paper here. So if I um, have a scan bag and I want to scan the documents and say it's a refinance, right? So we're looking at 120, 150 pages. Well, this will hold up to 100 pages at a time. Now, I know that if I'm scanning those documents um, and I have to upload them to a file that I cannot scan 100 pages in one file and it'll actually upload to the portal. So I, what I do is I just kind of break it in half. So I'll scan half of them, save them on my Epson file, um, on my Epson app, save the file into a folder on my phone, and then I'll scan the other half. And then I will up upload both of those files to um, the signing agents, I mean the signing services portal, or then I can actually get those um, email back to the signing service. So this is where I do my scan backs when I am on the road, a ES, a Epson ES 580W. I will, um, of course, leave the description and my um, Amazon affiliate link if you're interested in this particular um, scanner. But this is my boo. This is my printer. This is the Brother 2390DW. It is one of the first um, laser printers that I purchased, and this is why it's probably in my car. Right now, it has been a great um, printer for me. What I love about it is that it had the flat top um, scanner on it. So if I'm out and about and I need to scan somebody's ID, I'm doing some general notary work, I need to scan a document or scan something, I have this um, available. Now, yes, on my scanner, I can scan IDs, credit card, you know, I can scan whatever on that as well. But, you know, sometimes I prefer to use this if I can. Um, so again, it doesn't have an automatic feeder. It's a flatbed scanner. I don't recommend that you purchase a flatbed scanner, um, especially if you're new. Um, I would, you know, suggest that you get one that has an automatic feeder in it. So therefore you can scan your documents back, you know, a bunch at a time as opposed to one at a time. So this is only in my car because it was one of the first ones that I had. And instead of me just going out and buying something else, I just put this in the car and updated what I have in my home. Okay. So the big question, doo -doo 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 -doo, how do I power my printer? in my car now my scanner i can plug that up to the power source here and it will work no problem however this printer it pulls a lot of power and you cannot just power this by plugging it into um, the power source in your vehicle so you will definitely need to get creative i used to um, go to um, starbucks or um, the gas station or somewhere like that to actually power my um, printer, but now I don't have to worry about that. So let me show you. I have had an inverter stalled, installed in my car and I did not have it mounted because I like to make big purchases and I wanna be able to move this if I need to put something. But this is an inverter. It is a 2000 watt, it's Potec, um, but it's a 2000 watt power inverter it has three plugs in here where you can actually plug up. It actually has um, a USB 
um, and a Bluetooth um, connection as well. So if you need to power your printer, your scanner, um, you want to charge your cell phone, you can do that with this particular um, inverter. Now, where is the power coming from? Because sometimes you see that you see um, videos and they actually have the big old battery pack. <laughs> I hated that. I was like, I did not want a battery sitting in the back of my car. So what I did was I had this inverter installed and connected to my battery so my battery to in my car battery is my power source now when i am not using this this is powered off it is off right now i can hit that and you see the green light right here that green led light came on to indicate that it is on when i did that it just powered my um printer up so now my printer is working and then if I hit this button on my scanner, did you see my scanner just um, lit up? So um, my scanner is powering up and now it has power. So now I can, I can use my scanner as well as my printer in the back of my car. So I ha truly have a mobile office now. Now I will tell you when you're looking to um, put something in your car, you make sure that this um, inverter or whatever inverter that you decide to get coincides with your vehicle. You don't want it to be too powerful or anything like that. And also, I do not suggest using it without the car being powered on. Now, my car is off right now, and this is just for demonstration purposes that I'm showing you what my printer is connected to, but I'm not using it without my car being powered on. Um, I don't know if that's a big thing or not, but I am not going to risk it. I have so, my UPS envelopes. I keep my crap load of FedEx because that's what I actually do the most. Um, in my car, I keep Lysol wipes. Um, before I got my inverter, I would need this extension cord to plug up at the gas station or Starbucks or something like that. But now I don't need it. But I'll keep it just in case because you never know what may happen. Um, um, sometimes you run out of toner while you're on the road. And so I just use this FedEx bag to put it in so that there's ink, that the ink doesn't get all over my car. Um, and what I do with these is I just save them because you can return them to Staples. You can do 10 a month and you get $2 per um, cartridge that you turn in. Those funds can be used for new paper, for ink, whenever you go shopping, they just put it on your rewards account at Staples. So don't throw these cartridges away. This is money that you're throwing away. You spend a lot of money on these, get your money back. So you get $2 per cartridge at Staples if you return them. So you can do 10 a month. So. Make sure you're returning them to get your money, okay? So, it's here also. So, I have my legal size paper and then I also have my letter size paper. So, that's what I want to stock up on the most because I want to keep paper because you never want to run out of paper. You never want to run out of toner. I would have had another, another replacement toner to show you, but I just actually replaced it. And then one of those were the ones that I took out. So, this is my mobile office. Again, um, I have my clipboard, my FedEx packages, and my pouches in here. And so, I just push this to the back. And this is how I protect my, um, um, so I put this back over it so nobody can just look in my car and just kind of see what I have. So this actually, um, hides and protects it. This scanner, I never leave it like this. Um, it's actually always in my um, back seat in a bag, and I actually am going to go ahead and unplug it before I leave. So I'm gonna unplug that and put it in my back seat because I don't want it moving around. This I'm not worried about because it's heavy and it doesn't move, but I don't want the scanner to get broke up. So I just keep it in the bag in my um, back seat on the floor um, when I have my equipment in the car. So this is my mobile office. I hope you like it. Hope you like. I will, I will um, put a link um, to all of these items um, that I keep in my car in the description. Again, they're going to be affiliate links, um, some of them, if I can find them for you. Um, so help support assisted. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you are not a subscriber. And this is my. Um, mobile office. So thanks for watching. Bye.